Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. I'm the brother Kwatazab Sayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, with another lesson, with another video. And in this video, I want to speak about uh, Revelations 3 and 20. So without further ado, this is Revelations 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Gone. So this is red letters. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And Yahweh Shai is the person who everybody ignorantly calls Jesus. You know, he's a so-called uh, dark-skinned man. And he's coming for uh, the Israelites. And the Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Gone. So what it reads is, Behold, I stand at the door. Gone. And when you, when it speaks about he stands at the door, it's speaking about he's, uh, he's standing at, your, at the door of your mind. You understand? Because what does the scripture say in 1 Corinthians? Go to that. 1 Corinthians 6. Verse 19 and 20. First Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit, which are Yahweh's. You see so it speaks about how your body is a temple and what is a temple a temple is a house you know it's a it's a building actually so when it speaks about go back to it revelations 3 and 20 behold i stand at the door and knock you see so yahweh is knocking at the door he's knocking at the at your at your mind he wants to come in he wants to sup with you if any man hear my voice how does he how does he speak to you through the mouth of the prophets because the the prophets they're standing in the highways and byways you, you know in the in the marketplace so when you are walking on the streets and then you hear the prophet speaking to you that's your shy knocking at your door knocking at your mind he wants to sup with you and in John 10, it speaks about how my sheep shall hear my voice, you know, and I know them by name. So he knows who he wants. But if you read uh, the book of Ezekiel 37, it speaks about uh, uh, son of man prophesy unto the wind. So we have an obligation to stand in the highways and byways and prophesy unto the wind because we're, fish we're fishers of men right now. And we don't know who we're um, fish reeling in. But Yahweh Shai, he knows who he needs in this truth, in this faith. You see? God, so continuing. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. So it says, I will come in to him Salakia, and open up the door. God. And this made me think about Exodus. Let me go into Exodus 12 verse 7. And they shall take off the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And this is speaking about the the blood of the lamb, because this is speaking about the Passover. And this is a actually a ceremony for what we're doing right now. Because in that time, in the time of Exodus, then we came out of the land of Egypt. And what is spiritual Egypt? right now that's uh, the land of america you know so we are spiritually putting the blood of yahweh shai upon our how you know i was speaking about that the the doorpost is the mind so we are putting the blood of yahweh shai upon our minds upon our laab because laab laab that is uh, heart that means mind in the hebrew in the lashawan kwadash you see so spiritually that's what we're doing we're we're keeping the Passover also, you know, because the destroyer is gonna come. And who's the destroyer? The destroyer is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come to lay the place desolate. 
in the time when he's gonna come with the ICBM missiles. Gone. So let me go back to Revelations 3 and 20. Gone. Let me read it again. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, open the door to your mind and let and let him uh, in, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. And what does it mean to sup? To sup means to let's go into that word. Strong concordance of the Bible. This is the Greek. And it says the Yapneo. The Yapneo. Gone. So it reads to sup. And if I go to the root word, supper, especially a formal meal, usually held at the evening, use of the Messiah's feast, symbolizing salvation in the kingdom. You see? This is beautiful. Esau's uh, letting it, he's showing it in, in the strong accordance of the Bible. This is a symbol, is the symbolizing of salvation in the kingdom. Food taken at, at evening. God. So basically, it's speaking about how we shall sup and we shall eat and we shall have salvation. How are we going to have salvation? Through this word. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 107, verse 9. Psalms 107 and 9 For he satisfied the longing soul And filleth the hungry soul with goodness You see Let me start one up This Psalms 107 Verse 8 Oh that men will praise Yahweh For his goodness And for his wondrous, wonderful works To the children of men For he satisfied the longing, the longing soul And filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Khan, so if you praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're not going to be hungry, man, because He's going to give you the full wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're not going to be wanting. You're not going to be out of balance. You're not going to be like these heathens are, you know, chasing money, chasing uh, worldly things, being carnally minded. No, man, you're going to be centered and in balance, you know. So He's going to sup with you and He's going to fool you. How? Through this word. Because man shall not live on bread alone, as the scripture says. Let's go to the book of Luke 4, verse 4. This red letter, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Luke 4 and 4. And Yahweh Shai answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. You see? So we can't live by bread alone. You have to have this spiritual food also, you see, or else you're gonna you're gonna destroy yourself because you're gonna live a sinful life, which is all, which is eventually gonna let you perish early. Let's go to the book of John, John six and thirty five. This is John 6 and 35. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. You see? So you can't just live by normal bread alone. You know, whole wheat bread and white bread, stuff like that. No, man, your body, your spirit needs this also. Your, your, your spirit needs Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the, is the word. Yahweh Shai is the bread of life. Let me read again, John 6 and 35. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. You see? So that's how you're supping with Yahweh Shai. Because when you're you're when Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, you shall never thirst. You shall never be uh, wanting, as the scripture says in Psalms 23. Let me go to John 1. John 1 and 14 to prove that Jehovah Shai is the word 
because every word in the Bible is Yahweh Shai is embodied. He's the embodiment of this whole, this this Bible, the complete Bible, because he never sinned. You know, it's John one verse fourteen, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You see. These, these scriptures are 100% man These scriptures are beautiful They they fill you You know They don't let you thirst Because Yahweh Shai is going to sup with you you're, you're, Scripture speaks about how you should let your light shine How? By following Yahweh Shai Because he, when he was around He was the light of the world But now because you're indulged in this In this truth, in this word Then Yahweh Shai is going to shine through you You know, you're like a reflector and I'm going to close it off with this. It's Revelations 19, verse 13. To furthermore prove that he is the word of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, of the living power. It's Revelations 19, verse 13. Let me see. Let me start at 11 for the full understanding. It is Revelations 19 and 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. You see, as we just read, he was uh, the truth, you know. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Let that sink in. He was in a vesture dipped in blood. So he's not going to come to bring peace on earth. He's going to come to bring a sword. You see? And his name was called the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai. Gone. So, Lord willing, this video was edifying. And I want to say, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kodash, Shalawam Makim. Yahweh Shai is going to come and bring blood and bring a sword and bring division onto this earth. Shalawam Makim.